Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon. Welcome to the service of Noonday Prayer from All Saints Episcopal Church in Concord, North Carolina. A special word of welcome to those who are our guests this day. We're glad that you've discovered us and you can learn more about the life and ministry of this congregation at allsaintsconcord.org. Our worship is from the Episcopal Book of Common Prayer and begins on page 103. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The psalm appointed for this day is Psalm 91. The one who dwells in the shelter of the Most High sleeps in the shadow of God's breast. I name the Eternal my refuge and fortress, my God in whom I place my trust. Because the Holy One will deliver you from the archer's trap, from the plague that plows a swath of destruction. Under sheltering wings, the Creator will protect you from sun. Under feathers, the Protector will wrap you with refuge. A shield and armor is God's truth. So have no fear of the vague terror that comes at night, the sharp arrow that flies at day. Do not shudder at the plague that prowls by deepest dark, the contagion that flattens by full-blown noon. A thousand will fall at your side, a multitude will fall at your right, but you it will never touch. Only with your eyes will you behold suffering, retribution for those who cause harm. Because God is my refuge, my dwelling place is in the heights. You will encounter no sorrow, no plague will come near your tent. The Holy One will command angels to guard you on all your paths. Lest they hurt on their hands, they will carry you, lest you hurt your foot on a rock. Upon lions and cobras, you will walk safely. Serpents and young lions, you will trample down. Because you cling to me in love, says God, I will carry you safely away. I will lift you up, for you know my name. When you call out to me, I will answer. I am with you in times of affliction. I will release you from harm and illumine your honor. I will satisfy you with long life and show you the fruit of my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. A dispute arose among the disciples as to which of them was to be regarded as the greatest. But Jesus said to them, The kings of the Gentiles lorded over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But not so with you. Rather, the greatest among you must become like the youngest, and the leader like one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at table or the one who serves? Is it not the one at the table? But I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer on you, just as my Father has conferred on me, a kingdom, so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is the eve of the Feast of St. Bartholomew. And that's really about all I can tell you about Bartholomew. He was an apostle. His name shows up on each of the lists in the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, as well as in Acts. And that's all we have of him in the New Testament. Some scholars have put forward the idea that because uh, Bartholomew is likely bar Ptolemy, uh, son of Ptolemy, that person we call Bartholomew had another name. And that name would show up in John's gospel as Nathaniel. 
they have a lot of reasons why they put that forward, and some of them are pretty compelling. Other people say, no, Bartholomew was just his name. Um, in either case, what's important um, is what the, is the point that's being made here in the gospel. Bartholomew was faithful. He was sent to proclaim the gospel. And according to legend, he went either to India um, or perhaps because of some confusion in the way that that place names were to Ethiopia. Um, and then he died in Armenia. There was a very prominent cathedral to Bartholomew in Armenia prior to the Soviet area. He is the uh, patron saint of the Armenian Catholic Church. But Bartholomew, and he is, he is recognized as a martyr, I should also say that. Um, but really what um, we who are getting ready to observe his feast day need to be focused on is that he lived out in his faithfulness what Jesus said. He was one who served. He was one who was sent to proclaim the good news and served the people. So much so that he was, like his master, considered a threat, and he was martyred. In uh, the readings for All Saints Day, we have reading from Ecclesiastes that begins, let us offer praise of famous men. And it goes on to talk about what light they offered in their generations. And then makes the remark that there were others whose names have been lost to history, but they too were faithful. And they too are important for us to recognize. And that is the core of why we celebrate All Saints Day. Bartholomew was called by Jesus and he followed. And his name was recognized as one of those whom Jesus sent to proclaim the good news. He, in his lifetime, spoke the truth that he knew, that Jesus is Lord, that Jesus is the one who comes to save, that Jesus calls us to self-giving, self-sacrificing, sacrificial service and love. In a time of quiet meditation, I invite you to consider the many people who have brought you to the place that you are today. Teachers, coaches, others that have been in your life, some of whose names you remember, some of whom that is all you remember, and some of who knows names who have been lost to history. And then invite Jesus to direct you, to send you to someone who needs to hear a word of good news, to the service that you are to offer in his name, that the kingdom would expand, that the good news of God would touch lives and shape people and redirect us to be the people who are bringing the kingdom of heaven to earth. As we play daily and will in a few minutes, pray the words our Savior taught us. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Almighty and everlasting God, you gave your apostle Bartholomew grace to truly believe and to preach your word. Grant that your church may love what he believed and preach what he taught through Jesus Christ our Lord, 
who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I invite your prayers this day for those you know who stand in special need. We lift up Jim and Rachel, Opal, Sandy, Barbara, Kathy, Mary, Henry, Charles. I invite your prayers for your own needs. And I ask your prayers of thanksgiving as we give thanks for the life and ministry of Bartholomew and all those who have brought us to this place and in this time whose names may be lost to history but who have been part of that great cloud of witnesses. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.